everyone, it's Elaine, and yes, I have a hot mess going on here. I, the other day was at an eight-day retreat and trying to do all kinds of stuff to get caught up on some projects that I have and things that I wanted to play with, um, and kind of sitting there with the gals, you know, crafting and chatting, and I decided that I have this heat tool. I think there, this one is by um, Project Life, but I think there's also one called the Fuse, and they have different tips and everything. Well, I want to show you what I did. I took page protectors. I have a bazillion of them. Don't even know how I got them all, but I did. Um, I took some page protectors, and one thing that I did notice as I was looking at them, and I'm probably, yeah, here we go. Like, this one is, like, really clear, and this one, see this one's, I don't know if you can tell, this one's like really clear and this one, not so much. Anyhow, get you some page protectors and a heat tool. And this is what I did. Excuse it, excuse the rumble. I made little tags. I took the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher ribbon scraps and I made out my own tags with leftover diamond dots. You have a friend or you yourself have leftover dots. I promise there's someone out there. <laughs> so anyhow, I just did all different kinds of sizes. Um, there's some different colors. Mix them up. She did not keep her dots separate in color, the um, person that I got them from. And so anyhow, that's what I did. And again, I just used scrappy ribbon that I had, some small pieces, and the little tiny attacher, and made my own scraps. And um, the tool comes with a, and I don't have it here, it comes with a, a metal straight edge, or you could use a metal ruler, I'm sure. And that's how I was able to keep my um, cuts straight. However, I will say, make sure that you practice a bunch don't get mad at yourself because some of mine were not the best or i thought they were sealed and then i would shake them later and i'd have dots everywhere um so play with the technique and you might be able to think of something else to do a little shaker thing <laughs> but it's a good i mean i'm using leftover scraps of ribbon that i don't have enough really to do much with i'm using leftover diamond dots i'm using full um page protectors that I've had and didn't really know what necessarily to do with. And so I love doing something with things that I have. And this would be really cute, tucked in a pocket of a journal or even like put inside of a birthday card. And you could always put some um, words in there that say happy birthday, maybe two-sided, whatever. You can think of some stuff to do this with. I know you can. So with that being said, um, I do, if I'm going to do a video, I do them on a Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can find me on Facebook. I have a group, a page, and of course my private Facebook. Also on Facebook, I have a retreat group with another gal here in Georgia, um, Lori, and we have Crafting and Chatting, no G, on either of them. So it's Crafting and Chatting with Lori and Elaine. We do retreats all around. We do Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina. We're going to venture into Florida. And then, of course, I do the two Creative Crafters retreats over in Alabama. Um, those you really can't find online. You have to contact me if you're interested. Um, and other than that, I'm on Instagram and Pinterest. And I do have a small Etsy shop. Not much really there, but I try to keep a little bit in there. So please um, send me a comment and let me know what you think. And I appreciate you coming by and checking me out. And remember, if you want to come to a retreat, contact me. Bye.